On the screen, we observe a system that uses a 1 quarter HP piston compressor, designed for both refrigeration and freezing, and operates with our 600A refrigerant gas. Now, let's detail the 10 most relevant technical characteristics of this system, that every competent technician should know. 1. At minus 20 degrees Celsius, equivalent to minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit, the system offers a cooling capacity of 937 BTU per hour, equivalent to 236 kilocalories per hour. 2. At minus 10 degrees Celsius, equivalent to 14 degrees Fahrenheit, the cooling capacity is 1526 BTU per hour, equivalent to 384 kilocalories per hour. 3. The nominal electrical consumption of the 1 quarter HP compressor, known as RLA, is 2.35 amperes at 110 volts and 1.18 amperes at 220 volts. You can verify this value using the amperometric clamp. 4. For a temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius, a capillary tube with a diameter of 0.039 inches, and a length of 4.46 feet, equivalent to 1.36 meters, is recommended. On the screen, we are showing other alternative measures for the capillary tube. 5. For a temperature of minus 10 degrees Celsius, a capillary tube with a diameter of 0.047 inches, and a length of 6.29 feet, equivalent to 1.92 meters, is suggested. On the screen, we are showing other alternative measures for the capillary tube. 6. For low temperature applications, with a value of minus 20 degrees Celsius, the pressure on the low pressure gauge should be negative 4.19 pounds per square inch. In case you need to recharge the equipment, remember that you can do it in liquid or gaseous phase, since our 600A is internally formed by a single gas. Remember that due to the very low pressure values, it is more accurate to charge the R600A by weight. 7. For medium temperature applications, the working pressure on the low pressure gauge is 1 pound per square inch at minus 10 degrees Celsius. 8. The high pressure in any equipment working with our 600A should be around 70 pounds per square inch for outdoor ambient temperatures of around 35 degrees Celsius. 9. Our 600A generally has very good miscibility with any type of lubricant. Due to the good solubility between mineral oils and these refrigerants, there are systems where it may be necessary to use oils of higher viscosity to compensate for this excess solubility. Remember to change the compressor oil when the equipment has been exposed to the external environment, for example, due to leaks, that is, totally depressurized, or when the oil presents an abnormal color, such as black or dark brown. 10. The average amount of oil required for the compressor is 230 cubic centimeters in volume, although it depends on the compressor manufacturer. Since our 600A is a flammable gas, it is essential to take extreme precautions when using flame for welding. For this reason, before carrying out any welding procedure, it is essential to perform a complete evacuation of the equipment using a vacuum pump, approved to work with this gas. It is important to expel the gases to the outside, preferably in a well-ventilated area.